Homeschooled 16 year old Katie and her parents returned to the United States after 12 years in Africa, settling in Illinois. After an intimidating first day at North Shore High School, Katie befriends outsiders Janice and Damien, who explain the school's various cliques and warn her to avoid the plastics. A clique consisting of wealthy but insecure Gretchen, sweet but dimwitted Karen, and Queen Bee Regina George. When Katie is invited to sit with the plastics at lunch, Janice persuades her to infiltrate them. Katie becomes attracted to Aaron Samuels, a senior in her calculus class and Regina's ex-boyfriend, and learns about the Burn Book, a scrapbook the plastics filled with cruel rumors about students and faculty. Regina offers to talk to Aaron on Katie's behalf, but instead kisses him in front of her and resumes their relationship. Feeling betrayed, Katie fully commits to Janice's plan to ruin Regina's reputation. Regina tells Katie that she and Janice were once friends, until she accused Janice of being a lesbian and ostracized her. After their attempts to sabotage Regina's wardrobe backfire, Katie, Janice, and Damien plan to turn Gretchen against her. They make it seem as though Regina has sent candy cane grams to Katie and Karen while excluding Gretchen. Regina further humiliates Gretchen during the Plastics dance performance at the Winter Talent Show, leading Gretchen to tell Katie all of Regina's embarrassing secrets. Katie informs Aaron that Regina is cheating on him, prompting them to break up, and tricks Regina into eating nutrition bars that Katie purports to be weight losing, but which in reality cause her to gain weight. Following a sharp drop in Regina's reputation, she is replaced by Katie as the new Queen Bee. Katie throws a house party while her parents are away, and drunkenly admits to Aaron that she has been deliberately failing math class to make him help her, but he rebukes her for becoming as manipulative and image obsessed as Regina. Janice and Damien confront Katie for lying to them about the party, and remaking her herself in Regina's image. Katie accuses Janice of being in love with her, and Janice declares her a mean girl, renouncing their friendship. Realizing Katie's betrayal, Regina retaliates by distributing the contents of the burn book throughout school, inciting chaos among the girls of the junior class. She avoids suspicion by inserting insults about herself, and the blame for the burn book is placed on Katie, Gretchen, and Karen. To restore order, Principal Duval and math teacher Miss Norbury gather the female junior students in the gym to apologize to each other. Regina insults Janice's sexuality, prompting Janice to reveal her entire plan to destroy Regina's reputation as the students cheer. Regina storms out, pursued by an apologetic Katie, and is struck by a school bus, fracturing her spine. When Miss Norbury is investigated as a drug dealer because of comments Katie wrote in the burn book, Katie takes full blame for the book. She is shunned by her peers and distrusted by her own parents parents but gradually returns to her old self. She joins the school mathletes at the state finals, answering the tiebreaker correctly to win the championship. The team arrives at the Spring Fling Dance, where Katie is elected queen, but declares that all her classmates are wonderful in their own ways, snapping the plastic tiara and distributing the pieces to other girls in the crowd, including Janice, Gretchen, and Regina. She rekindles her friendship with Janice and Damien, makes up with Aaron, and reaches a truce with the plastics. The plastics disband at the beginning of the new school year. Regina joins the lacrosse team to direct her anger profitably. Karen becomes the school weather reporter, and Gretchen joins the cool Asians clique. Aaron graduates and attends Northwestern University while starting a relationship with Katie. Reflecting on the relative social peace that has taken over North Shore High, Katie notices a trio of new junior plastics and imagines them being hit by a school bus. 